Hi and welcome to Video Editing 101. We're in our introductory module and this is Lesson 5, which is Spatial. And what I mean by this uh, talent <coughs> or this characteristic is that um, you have the ability to see things in space, three-dimensional space. <coughs> when I was in middle school, um, uh, I don't know where you grew up, but we would take Iowa tests <coughs> at least once a year. And uh, one year we took a different kind of test. I don't know what it was called. I guess an aptitude test of some kind. And uh, one of the, what the most of the test was, was that it would take a three-dimensional object and unfold it so that it would be flat. And you were supposed to... Um, look at the flat object and choose what 3D object it was going to uh, become if you folded it together. And I uh, took the test, didn't think much of it. Um, a short time later, I was called down to the office and um, they said, uh, we'd like to give you this test again because there's something unusual. I said, okay. So I took the test again. And actually, I don't remember, but I assume I scored again on the test. And they said, well, we've never had someone at the school score in the 99th percentile. So we just wanted to make sure that you hadn't cheated. I went, oh, okay. <clears throat> and so you know, before I got into 3D animation or video editing or anything else, I had this ability to see this as part of visualization. I could look at a flat, you know, object that, like, a, you know, this is what a cube would look like. And then when it's folded up, of course, it's a cube. But when it's not a cube, this is what it looks like. <coughs> and I could see the relationship between what the two-dimensional object looked like and what the three-dimensional object would be. Nothing I studied in school, nothing I even thought about, but I did have that ability. And as I started editing, especially outside of uh, TV news, um, many clients would need work done graphically, meaning uh, logos. That would be the e easiest way to start. But um, I did years and years and years of education videos, best practices uh, in education. And a lot of times what would be represented in the video was someone's life work of determining how you infuse writing through the curriculum. So how do you bring writing into science? How do you bring writing into math? How do you bring writing into art? Um, and many times they would have a model for what they have researched and created. And if they didn't have a model, many times the producer, who was also a teacher, would come up with a model that they would relate to, uh, keep going back uh, in the script. And at first he would literally build it out of balsa wood and cardboard if it was a three-dimensional model and shoot it with his camera to try to show visually how all the pieces fit together and uh, but pretty soon after that I started getting into three-dimensional graphics and 3d animation and so it was much easier to create it electronically than it was to you know glue balls of wood and cardboard boxes together so so I started doing a lot of that kind of work and um, although it took you know, learning about X, Y, and Z space and um, working in three dimensions and seeing in three dimensions, it actually came pretty naturally to me. In most editing, you probably won't have to deal with that a lot, but um, again, like the job has morphed over the years, uh, many places are going to expect you to be able to uh, do graphics. Uh, do simple animations, do motion graphics, and um, it's not a big jump 
to go from needing that to working in 3D and understanding how 3D axes work and this kind of stuff. And so um, I found that it was very uh, handy to have the talent of spatial intelligence, they would call it in education. And um, I'm sure there's some people that just, you know, don't get it. And, and that may be a hard thing to learn, but I believe all of these are learnable. So if what I've explained to you uh, doesn't make sense or ring any bells with you, then it might be something that you look into. Um, there's a free 3D program called Blender um, that's very good. And if you take some tutorials on it, um, you'll find out very quickly you know, what I'm talking about and you might find you really enjoy it, or you might find that is extremely frustrating to you. Um, but uh, if you do find it enjoyable and the concepts that you have to learn to use the software make sense to you, then you probably have good spatial intelligence. In the next lesson, we'll talk about number six, communication skills. See you then.